Right, I'm not quite sure. It's terrible the light on the camera. Can't see properly. Anyway, I think I've videoed some of it. I've taken some pictures. But of course we've been up here loads. We've been up here loads and loads and loads of times. Thousands of pictures. And uh, we've done it. So we've we're, we're, we're it's some 25 to 2. So we've I think we've done it, but leaving us enough time to get back for that four o'clock bus. And we'll be walking sort of along there. Then I, instead of going all the way up there, I'm gonna cut down through and walk on the lower path. I'm not gonna walk up the hill. I'm not gonna do that today, because I'm gonna do that another day. I'm gonna do that when I come out, park the car further up, and then I'm gonna walk round this way. I'm not doing it today though. Can I get down this way? Can I get down this way? Let's have a look. Nasty. You do yourself a nasty injury if you fell here and hit your head on any of these rocks. You'd do a Michael Schumacher, wouldn't you? So it's always best to be careful. I've seen St Andrew's Church, but like I say, we're not doing that today. Definitely not time. If we there was a five o'clock, yeah. We'll probably come face to face with the great big horned bully goat. There's somebody been on the top. I don't like taking pictures of other people, really. Right there is a ram. He's been put out with all his wives. He's got he's, he's the one with the horns. Yeah, I'm serious. I've never seen him before. Just coming over here. Someone's written in stones. Will you marry me? Over here somewhere. People do write things in the stones. You can see it easily from above. It's all very phallic, apparently. Up here. There's one bloke, I met a bloke up here once, he was really disgusted with the symbols, symbolism. He was quite agitated by it. But he went from our country and I said, well, this is what we do here. Paganism, love. Right, I did get up there near the crook. They've lifted the part of the point up a bit more. But the bit that fell is sort of just on a ledge there. Um, I've seen the three blokes. I think they're having a seat halfway up Waverley down there. Um, 
I expect they're having a break there because they, they what well, they might not realise yet, they have to ask, they've got to go right over the other side of the road. Right, will you marry me? It says, look, let me just get up a bit. Say, so here I do. Marry me, look. How romantic, isn't it? Do you think that's romantic? <sighs> yeah. Right, we're going to make our way down now, folks. So I've taken a picture of the hook there. That used to be higher up on the top there, but it became unstable. I don't know if it's... I reckon it's been lifted up there because... It had fallen down. It had fallen down. Now we're going to go down there and all the way along. And then we're going to branch off. We're not going up Waverley Down. We're not going up that bit to the peak. We're going to do that on another trip. So I think that's romantic. Mar it doesn't say, will you marry me? It just says, marry me. I don't know what that bit says there. It's nice though, isn't it? Somebody loves somebody, don't they? It's great that, isn't it? It's a little tiny, tiny thing there. There's a little tiny mushroom there, look. <sighs> From here we can see Breen Down and Steep Home right over there, look. I'll zoom in with the video in a minute. That over there. Terrible camera, if you can't see, I have to guess. But over there is Breen Down and Steep Home. And right over you've got the old chimney pot of Port Talbot, which is now redundant. Now redundant. What I'm going to do is try and take a picture with the camera. Of, uh, I'm going to try and zoom in and take a picture. It might work, you never know. Because I can see a lot better with this one. Yeah, it's done it this time, it's done it. Go for that. Lovely, I'm glad it came up here. You did it, Shell, you did it. It's much easier going down. <laughs> oh, it's lovely going down. <sighs> Walking up. Well, I came through the bushes actually when I came up. 
I came across the path over there. I've come, I've approached the, the peak by so many different places. I mean, that's a nice walk down through there, by the way. Down to St Andrew's Church, over there. It's a lovely walk. Yeah, I reckon they must have gone. Strong men with strong legs, they went up there. I bet they got on the top and they were gone, I tell you. Yeah, they got lost, but they recovered. They've still got a long way to go. They've got to go right the way across um, to Robert Warren, yeah? They'll do it. They'll have a great time in the pub when they get there. I've got some Guinness in the fridge, actually. I'm looking forward to later. A nice Guinness. I love Guinness. I don't drink it very often, by the way. It's not a regular thing. It's just that I had this beautiful Guinness last week and I would have liked another one. But I said, no, don't, Sheila. Don't have two. Because, you know, you it really won't. You, you, you'll get tipsy. So, um, and I didn't want to get like that. I've just enjoyed the, get the pint I had. And I've bought some lovely canned Guinness with a widget. So you get the froth. And uh, I, get, I can go years and never want to drink a Guinness, right? I can go years. And I don't always like it. And I think, ooh, I don't want that. I can drink in mud. And then I just get this desire for Guinness. I blame it on my mum, you know. My, my beautiful mother. She always had, my mum never went out, never went up the pub or anything. She had a couple of parties with her work now and again, right? Uh, I'm going to see some, I'm going to see some big toadstools over there. I'm going to go and have a look in a second. And, um, but she liked a bottle of Guinness at Sunday lunch. Back in those days, you everyone had roast beef on a Sunday. It was traditional when Yorkshire puddings. It was just traditional. And my mum had a bottle of Guinness and she used to pour out a little tiny sherry glass, little tiny one, to give to me. And she used to say, this is good for you, Sheila. It give you an appetite. Yeah. This was when I was a kid. And I can see some you can see some toadstools through there, I'm sure of that. Can I get through that way? Can I get through? Don't know. I can or not. I'm going to turn off a minute and see some toadstools. Right, look at the size of that toadstool, everyone. That's a big one, isn't it? And there's that one there, look. They've got a name, I can't remember it at the moment. God, it's massive. That's much grown much more than last week. And there's loads of them, look. And some bigger ones over there. Let's go over and have a look. I've decided to video them as well. This is that time of year, by the way. This is a slight distraction, folks, from the the walk, which you know we've got to allow for time. Look at that there! Look at that! 
whole load of them. <sighs> Together. Together. Gorgeous, aren't they? <sighs> Very gorgeous starlings. There we go, there's the peak. Toad sauce. Right then, we'll be making our way up. Up the hill in a minute. But we're not going up over Waverley Down. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the lower path. Motorway, look, there's some sheepies. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Me? Hey? Is that sheepster? He's staring at me, look. Hello. Motorway's quiet because everyone's at Western watching the bike race. <laughs> and I'm, I'm got away. I've come over here to get away from it. <laughs> oh dear. So Sheila, I don't know what video this is, but it's the uh, 10th of October 2024, and it's five to two in the afternoon. Two hours to the bus, two hours, ten minutes. It's just about enough time, I think, to get home. And there's a peak 